Um, have you ever felt held back by, by a social construct, like, in particular, that has rang true with you? I mean, it, it's so many times. And it's, like, really just, like, in the small moments. I mean, um, I was recently, I just got a divorce. And I think what was really difficult for me in that scenario was a lot of people were like, but he's a man and he needs different things than you do. And I'm like, well, you're making all kinds of big, broad assumptions about mm -hmm. like our relationships and like just saying that it's okay for him to do that and that I should accept it mm -hmm. and deal with those things. Like that, that was preposterous to me. Like I just mm -hmm. like, no, yeah. it's not acceptable. Like the stuff that came up when this happened. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it brought up a lot of issues for me about um, women's sexuality mm -hmm. and, you know, being quiet and, and like, my feelings and my sexuality weren't ever considered in a mm -hmm. way that it was, it was always about, like, him mm -hmm. and, like, why he did that. And it's just, it was, that's what's really rings true to me in my life personally right now. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's always the, I find, yeah, it's always the little things, like the things that somebody will tell you in a conversation, and it's so minute that you don't want to pick it up as a female, you're like, I'll just let it pass, you know, but then it's like, it's those little things that just, like, wear you down mm -hmm. over that time, and it's just like, when do I ever say something Mm, how yeah. how I think how is the biggest one for me is how do I come across as like not like a raging feminist like when I'm, <laughs> when I'm like trying to like yeah. stand up for myself it's crazy all these I will yeah, say that yeah. when I recently have been confronted by that I have kind of gone the raging feminist route and the look on the face of the person <laughs> has been sheer terror great yeah, good. because <laughs> they're surprised and um I think what we're talking about a lot has to do with that perception that like because you're a woman dot 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 like yeah here are all of these expectations because you are a woman and you are expected to act in this way so like you are a woman you're not expected to have a sexuality you're there for your husband yeah. mm -hmm. or like you are a woman, you're not supposed to be illustrating sexual poses. Yeah. yeah. And um, I see that a lot too when you ask like a specific thing where you feel held back and it's almost like, well, this is like a daily thing. Like yeah. when I was starting to think mm -hmm. about it, it just became this rolling list of like, <laughs> I have been accused of being like an extremely dangerous driver because I'm a woman and I'm the most fucking cautious driver <laughs> <laughs> like out of anybody um just these like standards about it um a big one for me too is like the expectation that we're weak both yeah. physically mm -hmm. and mentally um I have men all the time be like oh can you carry that and it's like yeah I'm I him. <laughs> I don't really care. Like, I work out. I've been completed. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, yeah. But I think that just goes along with it. Like, because you are a woman, there's these expectations. And I think that our goal for part of this and our goal for inviting others to collaborate is like, what are those moments to you? Mm -hmm. What are those moments mm -hmm. where you've just been like, <laughs> yeah. 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 like, right. nicely smile or yeah. do I rage? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. figuring that out. And I think voicing all of those experiences and coming together knowing that you were going to be supported by other women yes. who have been there too mm -hmm. is sort of like the point behind yeah this piece and then also um finding connection with others too yes. we also have you have the opportunity to put your instagram handle on there so mm -hmm. it, you can be anonymous or not and so and then we'll be photographing each of those and putting it on um the website Facebook events, so and so and so, whatever. Um, so you can find other like-minded people who feel the same way that you do. Totally. And just even just seeing like, oh wow, there's like four other people who feel that same way that I do. Like, mm -hmm. And like being able to hold up their sign yeah. and be like, I'm not alone. Like yeah. this is someone else's sign, but I feel the it's exact not, same way. It's not just me. Yeah, it's yeah. not just me feeling, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait for November. I can't wait to do this. It's going to be wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay, connectivity. <laughs>